Hi guys, my name is Nikunj and I'm back with another video. After teasing us for a complete month, OnePlus has finally announced the OnePlus Nord. This is a phone that I was really waiting for. OnePlus initially started off as a company which labeled its phones as the flagship killers. But slowly they moved away from that budget market that they initially targeted and kept on increasing the prices of their phones with each successor that came out. And recently the OnePlus uh, 8 Pro that came out, that's really expensive. That's almost to the flagship level, right? So this is basically uh, a way of OnePlus going back to their roots and targeting the budget market, which they were known for. The OnePlus One, the OnePlus Two, and uh, even the OnePlus Three, 3T, all of those phones, you know, uh, sold like crazy, especially here in India. OnePlus has an amazing fan following here. I myself, I am using uh, a OnePlus phone. I suggested my wife to get a OnePlus phone. So even my sister, as of right now, she is using a OnePlus. So I have always been a huge fan and to a lot of my friends, even my family members, I have been suggesting the OnePlus devices for a very long time now. And now with the OnePlus Nord, they are back to their roots. Now uh, I'm currently on the Amazon page for OnePlus and uh, these are the configurations that they have initially released. Now if you see the price, a phone with a good mid-range chipset which is the 765G, it's 5G capable and 8 gigs of RAM, two, uh, there are two variants as far as the storage and the RAM configuration are concerned. 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage and then there's one which is uh, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage and it starts at 28,000 rupees. That's amazing. In the US, uh, this would be 399 US dollars. So exactly the same price as the iPhone SE, which Apple recently came out with. Now, if we look at the design of the phone that uh, OnePlus has come out with, I really like the design. It's very minimalistic. Uh, the cameras are on one side, a vertical arrangement, something that uh, OnePlus has been doing for a while now. A sort of centered OnePlus logo, uh, like the iPhones, which recently came out, the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro and now the SE as well has that centered logo. I believe that's something that uh, they have also gone for. If you look right here, this is a little uh, below than what it used to be earlier. And uh, further, this is actually available in two colors. Uh, one is an onyx gray and the other one that uh, the blue color, they're calling it the blue marble. So that that in a way is taking up uh, from the uh, famous image of the Earth uh, from our space, the blue marble. So that's kind of cheeky, but it's it's really nice. And uh, this comes with six cameras in total. So four at the back, two in the front, and uh, the front cameras are way in the corner, as you can see in the image right here, at one side, and it's. A sort of a capsule sort of a cutout that they have at uh, the top left corner of your uh, phone now this is something that I like as far as you know the hole punch cutouts and the notches are concerned since this is to one corner of the phone this is not something which bothers you a lot and while watching videos or playing games this is not something that would bother you or basically be in your frame of vision at any point in time. If there is something going on in the bottom left corner, uh, then probably yeah, that's something that you would notice. Otherwise, majority of the content that we consume is right in the middle of the screen, right? So this is not something that would bother you too much. And at the back, uh, they have four cameras. Uh, the, four, the primary camera is 48 megapixels. Uh, it is said that the camera is basically the same sensor as the one in the OnePlus 8 Pro that uh, is out there. So they are claiming flagship level camera quality 
but this is again something that uh, we'll need to see because in today's smartphones a lot of uh, the image quality basically depends on the processing that the phone is doing as well it's not just about the sensor anymore now one thing that i really like about this phone is the fact that this has a flat screen the OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus 7T Pro that came out last year, they have a curved display. It's curved along the edges, uh, infinity display as Samsung used to call it. Now, um, that is not something that I personally like. Uh, this is something that I mentioned in my, uh, one of my previous videos. I have kind of small hands, right? So I found it really difficult to navigate those phones and there were a lot of accidental touches to uh, the edges and uh, that triggered a lot of features, a lot of responses that I did not want from my screen. So I really appreciate this. Uh, it's almost uh, edge to edge. There are very thin bezels which are there in this particular phone. And uh, that's something that I really appreciate. Now, one more thing uh, here is the fact that it has two cameras, two selfie cameras in the front. The first, is the normal standard wide angle lens which is a 32 megapixel uh, shooter that would give you very good uh, and sharp images and then they have an 8 megapixel ultra wide uh, camera that they have included which they claim to have a 105 degree field of view so that's really impressive that's really handy for when you're taking group shots of your family or your friends together if you're sitting in big groups maybe in a restaurant or somewhere so that's something that would be really handy for a lot of people and uh, this is also something which is nice the front facing camera the main uh, 32 megapixel shooter that they have that's capable of 4k at 60 fps so that's that's really amazing and as you guys can see here in this particular image the bezels, the both the top and the bottom bezels, those are really thin. The side bezels as well, uh, those are really thin. So the overall screen to body ratio is going to be really nice. Now, this also has a glass back, right? But it does not have wireless charging. Uh, it does support the 30T WAP uh, charging that uh, OnePlus is famous for. Again, absolutely crazy fast. So it can charge your phone to, from zero to 70 in about 30 minutes. So that's that's really amazing as well. I'm pretty sure that this phone is going to give uh, the iPhone SE 2 that came out recently a run for its money. It's the same price category as uh, the iPhone SE, uh, at least in the US, 399. In India, the iPhone SE currently is for 42,000. The OnePlus Nord is launching at a mere 28,000 in comparison. So again, in India, this is going to be way more famous than the iPhone SE. Talking about the battery that they've provided in this phone, it's a 4,115 milliamp power cell. Now, considering the fact that uh, this has a 6.4 inch screen, which is 1080p at 90 hertz, uh, it would be pretty interesting to see the battery life that we get out of this particular phone because the battery in itself that's uh, 4100 million parts that's not a very big battery and uh, compare and you know club with the fact that uh, it has a 90 hertz refresh rate as far as the screen is concerned i think that there would be a decent amount of drain as far as the battery is concerned however we do have the 30 watt charging as i mentioned earlier so it would give you a good top up in a very short amount of time if you need that. And the chipset that they've used in this, uh, the Snapdragon 765G, it's 5G capable and clubbed with the software optimization that the OnePlus has because the, the skin that OnePlus uses for Android that's very minimalistic, right? It's almost stock Android. There's no bloatware, there are no uh, apps like we have in the case of Samsung. So uh, both of these things combined give you a very good user experience as far as 
the snappiness of your phone is concerned. And this is a new chipset, uh, only out in a couple of phones so far. But I think this should give you a very decent performance. I may be going out on a limb here, but I think we may be able to get performance equivalent to uh, the OnePlus 6 or the OnePlus 6T, if any of you guys are using it. Uh, it had one of the flagship chipsets at the time it launched. It was amazing as far as the speed is concerned. This chipset may not be as fast, but it would feel really fast because of that 90 hertz refresh rate that we had. So overall, I'm really happy with what OnePlus has done here with this phone. And I would really like to get my hands on the phone, do a proper unboxing and a proper review for you guys. And uh, probably use it for a while as well to test how it is, how it performs in real life and you know day-to-day -day tasks. And uh, just check what they have been able to achieve with this. So let me know what you guys think about the phone down in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, like the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Take care.